So this article is called Collection of Insane and Fun Facts About SQL Lite. I never really thought I would be reading that sentence. So this was published on the 30th of December 2024, so fairly recent. Uh, I'll leave the link in the description as always, and let's get into it. Uh, so SQLite is the most deployed and most used database. There are over 1 trillion or million million SQLite databases in active use. Fair enough. That is an insane fact. To be fair, it, no, for real talk though, like that is quite insane because I feel like most people over the years have always talked down on SQLite. Uh, but what's interesting is that I feel like SQLite has been making a comeback. Uh, obviously, DuckDuckGo is terrible. You will know my opinions. Yeah, it still is my uh, thing. Re-implemented in Rust. See? we got to re-implement everything in Rust. I've not actually used Rust yet. Maybe we'll use Rust. Anyway, let's move on. Uh, but anyway, SQLite has been seeing a re-emergence. So SQLite is likely used more than all other database engines combined. Uh, I guess SQLite is just there, you know, it's really easy. It's basically just like, yeah, it's easy. Billions and billions of copies of SQLite exist in the wild. It's everywhere. So most widely deployed and used database engines. So let's see. SQLite is likely used more than all other database engines combined. Billions and billions of copies. Yeah, we just saw that. So every Android device. I have heard this actually. How does how does Android use our uh, SQLite? SQLite. Android uses SQLite as a lightweight light bulb, blah, 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 blah. Android provides the SQLite open helper class for creating a man. Yeah, okay. But what, like, specifically is used? No, I don't care about that. Okay, what about every instance of Skype? Okay. It's not too surprising because you can just sort of create a database and then delete it. I think that's what's nice about SQLite. Um, so it is probably one of the top five most deployed software modules. Okay, so module being fair enough. The original ZDIP. And I'll be honest, I didn't know SQLite was this popular. I know there's a lot of Python, but I guess I say that you don't have to. I guess SQLite is got nothing to do with Python. It just is on Python by default. So I should actually take that back. But there is a lot of Python but that's irrelevant. Okay. Uh, so, how wacky? Okay, so, if, so if, I'll be honest. Some interesting stuff. Maybe some fun facts. Nothing insane yet. I guess the first one's insane. Um, H Wacky. How wacky is the company behind SQLite. You can see that. Look, they have similar styles. They're all sent to music. Fair enough. SQLite originated from a US warship. Dr. Richard Hip was building software for USS Oscar Austin, a Navy destroyer. The existent, existing software would just stop working whenever the server went down. This was in the 2000s for a battleship. This was unacceptable. So DRH, which is Dr. Richard Hip, asked the question, what if the database just worked without any server? Pretty good idea. Why do we even need a server? <laughs> yeah. Why can't I just pull this directly off the disk drive? Yeah. That way, if the computer's healthy enough, it can run our application at all. We don't have to have any dependencies up there. Of course, it's... Yeah, good idea. Pretty interesting. I didn't know that. Uh, let's have a look at this guy. Dr. Richard Hip. There he is. Fair enough. SQLite. <clears throat> I just read that. So unlike most open source projects that uses standard licenses like MIT, 
or GPL, SQLite does not come with an OSI approved license. So it's just public domain. <coughs> you don't need a license. It has even fewer restrictions. It probably just means there's no restrictions essentially. You can probably just can't claim that you made it or something like that. I have no idea. Uh, but yeah, you can use it for anything, I imagine. Also note that this can be a problem in some countries, just jurisdictions where public domain is not recognized. This is quite interesting. Uh, let's have a look. What, oops, what are some countries where public domain is not recognized? I feel like we can probably guess a few. So Marshall Islands, North Korea, <laughs> who would have thought? Kosovo, Iran and Iraq. Is that all of the countries? No, that's not all of the countries, but North Korea, Kosovo, so some African countries, Iran and Iraq, we saw that, Laos. Okay, quite interesting. So they sell licenses as well. I didn't know that you could buy a license. I wonder how much it costs. How much is an SQL Lite license? Six thousand. Wow. Interesting. So I'm guessing this is what you have to do if you live in a country. I don't know if that's quite the case. Someone would have to correct me on that. But, you know, just at sort of face value, that's what it seems like. If there's some countries where uh, public domain doesn't exist and then you can buy a license called warranty of title. Are these... I should probably say, how much does a warranty of, sorry, what was it called? Warranty of title. Title license cost for SQLite in countries where public domain is not recognized. Okay, yeah, so it was 6,000. Uh, let's see, they hope. <clears throat> they don't allow contributions. You cannot just send a pull request and hope the patch will be accepted. So it's not open source software. Uh, fair enough. Open source, not open contribution. Okay, so it is open source, of course, because you can just use it, but it's not open contribution. I'm sure you can make... Doo -doo -doo -doo, let's see... Not open contribution in order to keep SQLite in the public domain and ensure that the code does not become contaminated with propriety or licensed content, the project does not accept patches from people who have not submitted an affidavit dedicating their contribution into the public domain. Okay. Fair enough. That's quite interesting. Uh, I'm still embarrassed about my Python brain rot moment from before, though. Uh, oh, well. How do they cook? let them cook. Uh, there are over 600 lines of test code for every line of code in SQLite. That's quite a lot. Tests cover 100% of the branches and 100% of MCDC in the library. What's MCDC? Modified Condition Decision Coverage. The test suite is extremely diverse. The first tests, boundary tests, values, regression tests. Okay. That's a lot of testing to be fair. Uh, interestingly, some SQLite tests are propriety. The test suite called TH3, Test Harness 3, which achieves 100% branch coverage of the code, is propriety and is not open to access. I don't know any other project which has made the code free, but the test suites are paid. <laughs> the test suites. Suites? Suites? Uh, however, they could not sell a single copy of TH3. <laughs> 
Fair enough. <coughs> Maybe they're just really bad. Surely someone has bought a copy. Uh, surely someone has bought a copy. Uh, let's see. Has anyone bought a copy of Test Harness 3? Ah, oh, you're rubbish. It's an interesting business. In order to get access, oh, hang on, let's get back to this. Interestingly, some SQLite tests are proprietary. The test read, yeah, blah, 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 blah. I don't know if any. Okay. In order to get access, one needs to be part of SQL of the SQLite consortium, which costs 120k yearly. Wow. It's an interesting business model. They generate revenue through licenses, paid support, maintenance, services, consortium membership, and commercial extensions. Uh, what is their consortium? I can't tell who's in the consortium. Is it just these ones? We will be happy to recognize consortium members of SQL website logo brief acknowledgement. So I think, hang on, let me just see if, let's just turn this off. Sorry if that hurt your eyes. Okay, there's a few. Bloomberg, fair enough. Uh, let's put that back on auto. SQL Lite does not have a code of conduct, rather a code of ethics, derived from instruments of good works from chapter 4 of the rules of St. Benedict. Do not murder, do not steal, love fasting, rel relieve the poor, fear the day of judgment. Okay, interesting. So, it's a literal... The rule of Saint Benedict. Okay, good. It's one place to get your ethics from, I guess. Visit the sick. Except during COVID. Be not drowsy. What do you mean, be not drowsy? If I'm tired, I might be drowsy. Be not addicted to wine. Be not proud. Be not a grumbler. Okay. In SQL Lite, in place of legal notice, here is a blessing. I guess I've never interacted with SQL Lite except for in Python. The author disclaims copyright to the source code. Here's a blessing. May you do good and not evil. May you find forgiveness for yourself and forgive others. May you share freely, never share, take more than you give. I guess I can't really disagree with that too much. SQLite is so fast they compete with FOpen. For some users, you can use SQLite instead of file system. That can be 35% faster. SQLite versus Redis. Guess which is faster? It looks like SQLite is faster. Number of IPs were queried. You've got 2 million here in 20 seconds. And this takes close to 80 seconds. Uh... But unlike most databases, SQLite has a single writer model. You cannot have more than one concurrent writer. Okay. This was also changed recently. Okay. You can either have readers or writer, but never together. There are other things which are very common in other database, but not SQLite. Uh, the default is rollback journal mode. Foreign keys are disabled. They are opt-in, it's weekly typed. Many of the, I think I have, many of the alter commands you expect don't exist. Okay. I hate that it doesn't enforce types, it's totally YOLO. This works, create table, use ID, integer, insert into user, values, YOLO. This works. Fair enough. This is my favorite law. SQLite had to change the default prefix from SQLite to, I'm guessing, this. well, this is SQLite written backwards when users started calling developers in the middle of the night. Uh, those users would then do a Google search for SQLite to find the telephone numbers of the developers and call, call to wake them up at night and complain. For this reason, the default name prefix has changed to be SQLite spelled backwards. Oh, lol. 
Imagine doing that. Imagine just. Wow, well, I guess if there's time zones, you might accidentally call someone in the middle of the night. Not that you should call them anyway. SQLite takes backward compatibility very seriously, as we should. <coughs> I mean, if possible, everything should be pa backward compatible. Uh, it's obviously not always possible. Going back to 2004-06-18, this is backwards compatible. I guess backwards compatibility would always be possible, but probably would just be more effort than it's worth. The developers promise to maintain backwards compatibility they plus future releases. Boring. Uh, but they take back... Have shipped a bug. They won't fix it. <laughs> they take backward compatibility so seriously that even if they have shipped a bug, they won't fix it. This is a bug, but by the time the problem was discovered, there were so many databases in circulation that depended on the bug. That the decision was made to support the buggy behavior moving forward. Lol. Uh, how many have we got left? Okay, I think we've only got two, uh, three left. Uh, so SQLite's author, Dr. Richard Hip, did not find existing version, version controls, version control system suitable, so he wrote his own called Fossil. Fossil is powered by SQLite, of course. What else would it be? Is there a git repo? I want to see if it's like maintained docs. Is there not a git repository for this? I imagine they don't use... Oh yeah, actually I guess that would be ironic considering git is a version control. Let's just see if it's on github anyway. Fossil version control. That's about version wrong. I don't think it is. Let's see what Reddit thinks of. Actually, that's not. SQLite is pronounced SQLite. There's no official guideline though. DRH mentioned it in SQLite forums. I wrote SQLite and I think it should be pronounced SQL. Right. Like a mineral, but I'm cool with your pronouncing it in any way you want. SQL light. I guess I say SQL light rather than SQL light. SQL it. Small difference. SQL it. Like meteor it. That's it for today. Cool. Well, uh, come check out this post if you want. And yeah, leave a like.